Okay, here's a nugget for all of you building this photo booth out there. Uh, everyone's asking, what is this thing? And it's a mounting plate. What's up everyone, it's Lee here from Boother Tools and today I've got a photo booth here. This is one of our special photo booths uh, and it runs DSLR Booth, which is a photo booth program. It's today we're tackling common photo booth questions that we get on the channel uh, or questions that we think that you should be asking. Let's take some photos. If you're not aware, I've created many DIY photo booths. Oh yeah using used cameras and tablets, put into boxes that at first I uh, made at home by myself and shared the videos for those. And then later on, uh, me and my business partner, Les, uh, who co-owns Boother Tools with me, uh, we started CNCing them. And uh, now we offer them for purchase on our Boother Tools website. So lots of people ask, what kind of flash should I use? And you should use a flash, a mono light strobe. So you don't need to spend a whole bunch of money on flashes. And this one's an LED flash because it goes through the mail. Go through the mail, you ask, like this. Putting a photo booth in the mail. And this one's an LED flash because it goes through the mail and I don't want uh, the lights to get broken. So this is a Godox LF 308. I got it from hundred and I got it for 150 bucks from London Drugs. Uh, we've got multiple of these things. They pack up nice and small into the suitcases. I've got a whole video on it right there. Um, but yeah, that's the flash that uh, we use among other flashes. Okay, here's a nugget for all of you building this photo booth out there. Uh, everyone's asking, what is this thing? And it's a mounting plate. Um, there's many names for it. Uh, so the best bet for you to find one in your area is to take this, screenshot this video right now of one of these, of me holding it, and then do a Google uh, reverse image search and it'll pop up all these in your shopping on Google. What kind of lens can be used in a photo booth? You can use an 1822 stock lens, uh, Canon or Nikon. I typically like to use Nikon cameras, uh, the budget cameras with the Surface Pro 3s because I've seen issues with Canon cameras and Surface Pro 3s put together. So I'd steer towards Nikon stock lenses. Uh, I'll put in the description also a link to all the compatible cameras for the software that we use. And that takes me to the next question. What photo booth software do we put onto the Surface Pro tablets? Well, it's called DSLR Booth. The DSLRbooth.com and you can download the software for it. You just download it onto the tablet and it will run the photo booth system if it has a flash, monolight strobe, Nikon camera uh, attached to it. And then just pop it all in a box, very simple. What kind of stand do we use? Well, we have a Yorkville stand. It's just a mini speaker stand. And then we use a pipe cutter just to cut it about a little bit shorter so that it fits nice inside the box. How much money do I make renting photo booths? Let's go take a look. Well, I don't have all the numbers of exactly how many photo booths we did last year, but I know that we mailed out 85 of them last year. And then locally, I did 79 photo booths. And that's with no advertising, just whatever SEO we have in place. We don't even advertise the photo booths anymore. Yeah, if you're starting a photo booth business in advertising uh, and you have the lowest prices around, then people are just gonna jump at you. As I've relayed in some of my videos in the past, getting into the photo booth business isn't as expensive or time consuming uh, as it's made out to be if you follow the steps the way that I've done it. Uh, you know, I basically built these booths just with a camera, a touchscreen, and a computer, and inside a box, put a light on top, got the photo booth software, and then it's a photo booth business. Uh, you don't need your time because you can do customer pickups. I make quite a bit of money uh, just using these booths that I've made myself, DIY photo booths that people have no problem renting as pickup rentals. Uh, people pick them up, and then they take them on the Friday, they return them on the Monday. I charge 350 bucks for it, plus a 10% RPP. I mean, you end up making almost $400. Plus, uh, people had props, they had backdrops. Uh, if you deliver it to an event, there's a delivery charge on top. Uh, you know, there's, it, you can do lots with it, right? 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I've got plenty more. If you just want to click one of these links right here, right here, or we also sell photo booth enclosures and photo booth templates. There's a link in the description uh, if you want to go that route. We'll see you on the next one. Boother Tools out. What are they called? Lighting plate, mount, tripod, holder, three inch plate, photography lighting. It's a plate.